Getting close to the Olympics, the opening ceremony is tomorrow and a lot of attention will be on swimmer Ryan Murphy from Bulls in Jacksonville. In the Rio Olympics, he won two gold medals for the 100 meter backstroke. One individual, one team in a relay. But how far is 100 meters? Well, it is down the pool and back. Shoo, shoo, quick lap. In Rio, Ryan broke the Olympic record in an individual race. Just 51.97 seconds, that's all. And in a relay, he broke the world record 51.84 seconds. I talked with Ryan's parents at their home in Ponte Vedra and that 100 meter race, it is the most nerve wracking for mom and dad. It is a pure sprint and that is a race that, you know, if you just have a little slip up, you may not win. One little slip up, what could that be? You know, maybe you hit the water at a wrong angle and you just don't get a good, you know, a good swipe of the water. I mean, it's, it's such a short distance. And I learned this from Ryan's parents. Easy speed is critical. Everything is clicking. Sometimes if you're not feeling what's called easy speed, you can almost try too hard. Feeling a bit behind or maybe just a touch off your game, you lose easy speed. It's where you move your arms really fast to go fast, but because you don't catch that water, quite as well because you're not as rested, you're going to run out of steam quicker. Swimmers will call it, I died in my race. For sure, the 100 meter is dramatic to watch. In less than a minute, it's boom or bust. So Ryan, your hometown is cheering for you. I don't know, but I to Easy speed, we're hoping, to the gold. So Ryan's going to swim this Sunday night in the semis Watch for the 100 meter backstroke. And tomorrow you can see the opening ceremony live right here on NBC 12. It starts at 6.55 tomorrow morning, right after Good Morning Jacksonville. Or you can watch it in prime time tomorrow evening at 7.30. And we've made